Toe pressures obtained for the toe brachial index, or TBI exam, are useful to assess diabetic patients with non-compressible arteries. These patients have an ABI value greater than 1.3. Since obtaining Doppler signals on toes can be difficult and time-consuming, a photoplethysmography probe or PPG probe is used. The TBI is also valuable for use in patients with advanced peripheral arterial occlusive disease. To perform a TBI using a PPG probe for pressures and PVR for waveforms, press Enter Menu to open the Options menu and press 1. Press 3 to select TBI with PVR waveform. Press Enter Menu to open the Options menu again. Press 2 for the System settings. Press 6 to select PPG to obtain pressures, then press Enter Menu to exit. Wrap a cuff at each arm to prepare for the exam. Use the appropriate size cuff based on the circumference of the limb. Start at the right brachial artery site and connect the hose to the cuff. The Doppler probe can be used to obtain brachial pressures for a TBI, but in this example, we will use the PPG probe. Place the probe on the index finger with the blue side of the probe against the skin. The probe should be snug to ensure contact, but not too tight that blood flow is occluded. The patient must be still to acquire a PPG signal. Press scale one or more times as needed to adjust the vertical scaling to obtain a waveform as large as possible without clipping at the top. Wait a few seconds for the waveform to stabilize. Once stable, press pump to inflate the cuff. Continue to inflate to a pressure approximately 20 millimeters of mercury above the pressure where the PPG pulsations disappear. The cuff will begin to deflate automatically once the pump stops. Press freeze after several pulses have reappeared. Press the up or down key to move the caliper tool to the beginning of the first upward slope at the start of the pulsation, as shown. This is the systolic pressure. Press save to record it, and the marker will move to the next protocol location. Now we'll obtain the waveform using PVR. Move the hose to the right ankle and connect it to the cuff. Press and hold pump to inflate the cuff to 75 millimeters of mercury. Release when the inflation automatically stops. Pressure will deflate to 65 millimeters of mercury for optimum PVR. Wait for the cuff deflating message on the display to disappear. If needed, use the scale key to optimize the waveform. After the waveform stabilizes, press freeze. Here you have two options. If the waveform is acceptable, press Save to record it. Or use the up or down key to scroll to the optimum waveform, then press Save to record it. Press Save again to move to the next protocol location. Wrap the digit cuff around the base of the great toe. Move the hose from the ankle cuff to the digit cuff. Attach the PPG probe to the toe distal to the cuff with the blue side of the probe against the skin. Again, the probe should be snug, but not too tight. The patient must be still. Wait several seconds for the waveform to stabilize. Press scale one or more times as needed to adjust the vertical scaling to obtain a waveform as large as possible without clipping at the top. Once an optimum waveform is viewable on the screen, press and hold pump until the PPG pulsations disappear. Release the pump and the cuff will automatically start to deflate. Press freeze after several pulses have reappeared. Press the up or down key to move the caliper tool to the beginning of the first upward slope at the start of the pulsation, as shown. This is the systolic pressure. Press save to record it, and the marker will move to the next protocol location. Continue these steps for the remaining sites to complete the exam. At the end of the exam, the TBI results are calculated automatically. After completing the exam, Press Print and apply the adhesive-backed labels with the exam results onto the report form. Or save the exam to one of the 10 storage locations as explained in the File Management section of this video.